<laughs> okay, uh, hi guys and welcome to Fika with the Ionists. My name is Hanna uh, and I will be conducting this little Fika interview with my good friend and boss Besime. It's nice to be here. Uh, it's Fika nice with you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Mm. So I've prepared some questions mm -hmm. and I thought we would just do it, we'll just do it ad hoc and see how everything goes. Yeah. And if you say something completely crazy, we'll just edit it out, but otherwise <laughs> we'll just leave it as raw as possible. Oh, perfect. Okay. And usually I do say crazy stuff. Yeah, but it's well, uh... hey, you know me, so we'll <laughs> edit a lot of this out. Yeah. Um, so, uh, first of all, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Yeah? It's really nice sitting here with you. Yeah, so, yeah. ditto. I'm excited <laughs> for this. Uh, so, what's been happening uh, at the ION office from your point of view? Uh, from my point of view, it's mostly like production right now. It's like... Everything I do is about production. Yeah. Uh, as you all might know, we have had production delays, so and now we're just trying to catch up. So it's either games that are in the end of the production and waiting for frights, uh, going to our fulfillment centers, mm. or it's like games starting the production and in different stages. So there is like e-proof first when we get files and that goes back and forth. Or it's like digital samples and then it's the first time we actually see the physical copy and mm. then you have to sit and like do spot checking and it's several people involved in that. And then it's like the mass production sample. So yeah. it's, for me, it's been a lot of stages of uh, production right yeah. now. And it's during the summer period here in Sweden right now. So uh, it's been really intensive uh, yeah. doing all this and trying to, you know, have people checking the different Yeah, and everybody's stages. on holiday on different stages and exactly. like who's where and what and who, <laughs> whose responsibility is this. And, yeah. yeah, and we're working with different manufacturers this time uh, just so we have our games in different places and it's not dependent on one manufacturer. That causes some problems as well because then you have contact with four different and what did I say to that person and what did I say to that person. Yeah. So for me it's a lot of production but in the office it's a lot of play tests. So both new games and old games uh, going on as well. So we have for next year we have a lot of new games coming up as well. So that's always really exciting. Yeah. I love this like creative environment even though I do a lot of like the boring stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you do all the grown-up stuff yeah, and <laughs> the others just play. Yeah. But it's so nice to, yeah. uh, to be yeah. in the office. Yeah. But the whole production process just to like spot check everything yeah. and you're like you read the same thing 600 times exactly. and you're like I can't understand words anymore. No. Like it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah. And you think you checked everything and then still uh, yeah. typos come in. Yeah. But that's, you know, part of like printing something for real. And it's still like, it's so fantastic to get the final product in your hand. And then, yeah. yeah. So it's worth all the hassles before, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. It, is, so, it is a magical feeling when, yes. the, when the actual box comes and you open it and the, there's that new game smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> num, 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 num. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So yeah. it's it's all worth that. Mm. Um, so yeah. Mm. And we've been talking a little bit today, prepping mm. for uh, Essen Spiel. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited about that, and to see also with like production and such, like which games we'll be able to have at the fair, and exactly. which will have uh, available for order and mm. such. So, so lots so of stuff going on. It is. And with the frights, like all the problem in the world right now yeah. going on, like the fright prices has gone up and it's taking longer time for the games to reach the fulfillment centers and then also, of course, SM. Yeah. So we fingers crossed that we have the reprint of Station Fall coming in, mm -hmm. the Solar System. Yep, is, yep. Uh, uh, and then Wendell to Viking, so mm. it's uh, you know it's nerve wracking every time. But we will have games uh, yep. this year. Uh, we will have. Will we have your game? 
Yes. We yes. Go. Yes. <laughs> and if then... you guys haven't checked this out, you should check out some Ramat. Uh, we will link all of the stuff in the description. So, or you can just go to our website and you'll find everything there. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So you will be. Will you be leading any play tests? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, usually I do a lot of the meetings again, mm -hmm. the kind of the boring stuff, sitting and play testing with like the customers, the fun part. Yeah. Uh, that's always so much yeah. fun to play your own game. Um, and it, it's been such an experience to do some Ramat and understanding all the designers that are working here, oh, like the enormous work they put into the game. Again, it sometimes it feels like they just sit and play the yeah. whole day. Yeah. <laughs> and now you've gotten to see the other side. Yes. Of, yeah. I do. Yeah. That's uh, cool. Mm. Uh, okay. So, uh, are you ready for some uh, some questions? Let's you get nervous. Yes. Yeah? But let's, let's do it. Start doing okay. It. Hang on. So I've done a little. Let's see if you can see this, the ION interviews. <laughs> so I think you should just um, pick a card. Pick mm -hmm. a card, any card. Okay. And Have then... to take from the middle. Yep. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> what is your most controversial opinion about something mundane? <laughs> oh, that was a difficult one. <laughs> yep, we're diving right in. <laughs> yes, oh, God. No, it's like still in my head. You have to say something, so okay. I can come up with okay. something. Okay, so like I would, my answer for this mm. would be, uh, I don't know, maybe it's not controversial, but okay, I'll just say it. Mm. I, I think everything that has a ding sound is always too loud. It, it's <laughs> unnecessary. We don't need things to go ding. It can just be like a boop boop sound. Yeah. That's, and I will die on this hill. Um, <laughs> so a, a sound volume yeah, I thingy, kinda, especially in the mornings for me yep. when I go out and it's uh, cars or anything. Yep. Yep. It's like why? Why are they doing this to me? Yeah. So, and imagine yeah, working working that. someone somewhere like there's a door ding oh, I understand. that you just go ping pong, ping pong <laughs> six thousand times a day. Yeah. So that's the. Uh, hmm? <laughs> that was a good one though. <laughs> it was, but I still don't like. Yeah, I do get annoyed. Yeah, <laughs> I know this. But yeah, yeah. So give it like, what is uh, what's something that riles you up, and just like every time, just get under your skin. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. We don't have to answer all of these. That's fine. We could just. Mm. There we go. Let's toss that one. That okay, good. go for another okay, one. Okay, now I get nervous and taking from the middle, but yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a catchphrase you say all the time? Um. <laughs> catchphrase? Good enough. That's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I say that a lot to the team. Yeah. So good enough. And that's my... My whole life, I think, is like, not that it's not good, it's still good, mm. you know, but don't get stuck in things. Yep. So move forward, even life, you know, don't, if you have an argument, just go forward, like talk to the person, but if you, you know, yeah. it's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's good enough that we are, you know, yeah, you miss disagreeing or whatever. Yeah. And it's work as well, you know, because especially designers <laughs> get stuck in the, you know, it has to be perfect it yeah. never will be perfect because you evolve as a person all the time um mm. so everything can be improved all the time you yourself can be improved yeah all the you time would as well. never yeah. get anywhere if you're just striving for yeah. perfection in everything no so you would never be done brushing your teeth yeah exactly because so you can just enough. still do a little more <laughs> just a little more yeah okay yeah. good enough yeah good enough i like that yeah yeah okay Let's do the next one. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad I could answer one of it because there was two, so... You okay, you can... Get... Oh, you got two, so yeah. now you get to choose. Either, uh, how would you rate your communication skills or what's your love language? Oh, I, oh those two, I can take both. Okay, let's yeah. do both. <laughs> so my love language is like just doing stuff for someone that, mm. you know, I, I'm not really into words. Uh, or buying gifts. I'm, I'm very bad at buying gifts, I can say. But just, you know, doing stuff 
for someone that's mm. and giving up my time mm. uh, that's my love language yeah so if you, i give you my time that's definitely then yeah then i like you yeah, to I be like of you. service since yeah. i'm sitting here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for doing this <laughs> I noticed like it's really difficult when you meet someone with uh, another love language. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but those are my two. And yeah. my communication skills, I think they are good. <laughs> Just everybody else who doesn't understand, exactly. the jump don't listen. <laughs> no, but I, I try to adapt to the person I'm talking to. Yeah. And, um, and that might uh, take time before you understand who that, how that person works. But I, because it's not, if you want to communicate with someone, it, it has to be, that person can't just adjust to you, to you. You have to do that as well. Yeah. So for me, like being a CEO for a company and we ha I have a couple of people working for me, I have to adapt my communication to the different uh, people I'm talking to. Yeah. And it goes the same for the customers uh, as well. Uh, yeah how you communicate and what they need. So yeah. I, I, I do think I'm good. I would say you're, <laughs> but it's just maybe because we're on the same wavelength yes, and we, we communicate so well, mm -hmm. it's the same frequency. Yeah. So it's never any no, trouble, yeah. but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say you're good. Thank okay. you. <laughs> do you want to do a couple more? Mm. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Uh, do you have any useless talents? <laughs> since I'm, I'm a good enough kind of person <laughs> I love to try everything so yeah. I get like curious about anything yeah. know, but I don't really get good at anything so when people are doing their fun party tricks which I wish I had one I'm like oh no <laughs> like I can do this a little bit yeah uh, you know so you're a jack of uh, many trades yes of I all am. trades again yeah. I think that fits my role as the CEO as mm. well because I have talented people so if I'm at the party and you are there I would say do your party trick <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're good at lifting others up yes. yeah okay mm -hmm. okay okay one more one more there you go uh, what is your most random impulse buy? Um, I'm impulsive in everything I buy, pers like in the person, mm. in the company, no. There's <laughs> like, a, I try to not buy anything and people have to give good arguments why we buy something or why we invest in something. So everything is well thought out, but personally it's, uh, like in my private life, it's like I buy everything. I can't plan. Uh, so I have friends that like, if they want to buy anything, they go in and like check the ratings. I never check the, yeah. the ratings So anything. <laughs> I think there will be a lamp, the latest I buy, impulsive buy, and it was kind of expensive. So I shouldn't maybe haven't done an impulsive. And it was like um, too bright, but I couldn't use the dimmer for it either. So it's kind of useless in my <laughs> living room <Yeah. laughs> but it's cute it's like birds on it and yeah <laughs> so it started off as a lamp and now it's ended up like a sculpture yes mm. it is a sculpture mm. and then the price is worth it yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's art good good yeah but do you so you trust your your gut i you do. know exactly like i need this i want this or yes, this i, I will never yeah, yeah. oh I that's do. good mm? Mm. okay should we call that our fika? Yes, I think uh, so. Thank you for joining us on this silly little adventure. And we'll hope to see you soon again. Bye. Bye.